In the world of motoring, only one thing is certain. And it's that Bob's Track Talk is here for another week, filled with all the thrills and spills from the world of motorsport. IndyCar headed to Iowa, corn country. Yeah, Iowa corn. <laughs> what, game do you, what game do you think they were playing? They might have been playing cornhole later right, on. All right, all right, <laughs> and Scott McLaughlin put his mark on the Americas, claiming his maiden win on an oval course. It was career win number six for Scotty Mack in the US of A's Premier Wings and Slicks class, and the three-time Supercars champ was pretty darn happy. The first of twin races at the Iowa Speedway started with a prang, and that set the scene for a weekend of wild action. Championship leader Alex Polo tripped over himself, Colton Herter turned his Indy car into a drift car, and Aussie Willpower misjudged a restart that claimed a few. That left McLaughlin to win on Saturday night, but come Sunday, Power picked up his game to take the win and close up the series lead to Polo. McLaughlin was third, and Stingray Rob almost scored a 10 out of 10 in the IndyCar Gymnastics, falling just short of a perfect score with a misjudged landing. So, two wins for Team Penske in Iowa, and the team was just as strong at Pocono for the latest NASCAR race. Ryan Blaney beat the pack at the tricky triangle, while controversy reigned when Corey LeJoe went Kyle Busch bowling, skittling the pack. In Xfinity, Cole Custer took the win, while New Zealand's favourite son Shane Van Gisbergen got turned around and out. The Goodwood Festival of Speed turned back the clock with its iconic hill climb, bringing the world's best machines to the Duke of Richmond's front lawn. The event celebrated the 20 years of Red Bull racing in Formula One, as Karun Chandok set up this awkward moment for Sergio Perez on the balcony. Well, you two could be teammates. Imagine that. Oh, poor Checo. The Red Bull Supervan rose to the occasion and set the pace with the fastest lap of the event, while this $2 million Lotus Savaya X created its own piece of history, lasting just 10 metres before having an expensive meeting with the hay bales. And Extreme E returned to the Scottish Outback, with Aussie Molly Taylor and teammate Kevin Hansen sweeping the event for Veloce Racing and claiming the championship lead. And that's all, folks. I'll be back next week with supercars, Porsche Carrera Cup and more from under the lights of Sydney Motorsport Park. I'm Richard Crail, and you've just watched another episode of Bob's Track Talk.